you. Good afternoon, everyone. And thank you for joining me in today's Voxy Earth Modeling uh, presentation. This presentation will provide an overview of the impact of constraining geophysical uh, inversions with simple and complex geological models. We'll also highlight two exploration examples where geological information was applied to gain additional insight from geophysical inversion using Geosoft's Voxy. Inversion in general, uh, for those of you who are not familiar, is, is not a new method, and nor is it strictly limited to specialists in computer modeling. In the past, a geophysicist would look at contour maps of, geophysical, of a geophysical survey and using his expertise and experience form a 3D picture in his mind or, or a model of the subsurface. And then this model would be shared with the exploration team and, and be discussed. And this was, in essence, uh, an inversion, uh, going from this 2D data and developing a 3D picture. <clears throat> Since then, the technology has advanced, but the role of inverse modeling is still to facilitate discussion and iterative uh, interpretation between all members of the exploration team. Geosoft created Voxy Earth Modeling in 2012 to help geoscientists create 3D models from their geophysical data using powerful cloud-based uh, inversion services. Voxy is fully integrated into Oasis Montage, which is Geosoft's core platform for exploration using geology, geophysics, and geochemistry. The speed of a high-performance cluster accessed on demand and in the cloud enables rapid iteration and collaboration. The cloud is powered by Microsoft Azure and features the latest technological advancements in computing power and data security. Combined with key innovations in inversion technology by Geosoft, Voxy enables collaboration within the exploration team. Geologists, geochemists, and geophysicists now have a common place to merge their data sets and create integrated models. Voxy is powered by advanced innovations in inversion, including magnetization vector inversion, which uses magnetic field observations to determine the distribution of magnetization in the subsurface. In a wide variety of geological situations, this is far more applicable than conventional susceptibility modeling and yields results that correlate better to known structure. Cartesian cut cell mesh geometry, when compared to regular mesh geometry found in other inversion algorithms, allows for a far better representation of topography. This allows you to remove the noise due to terrain in your models and gives you uh, a better location of possible targets. Iterative reweighting is a simple method that allows you to refine the structure of your geophysical inversion with minimal effort. Uh, it results in sharper geophysical contacts and your model it looks more geologically relevant. Voxy also allows for density modeling using the entire multi-channel gravity gradiometer data set. Uh, so you don't need to combine your gravity gradiometer channels into one at the risk of losing information that was expensive to collect. And new to Voxy, uh, you can now create 3D conductivity models of frequency domain EM data using 1D inversion and sophisticated 3D interpolation. The integration of Voxy within Oasis Montage provides a new way to interact and collaborate with 3D geophysical models. Inversion models can be constrained and more efficiently integrated with other exploration data, whether that's borehole data, geological wireframes, or geochemical data. Models can be rapidly iterated as new data and insight becomes available and easily shared across multidisciplinary teams. As an example of the integration of geological information, to improve geophysical inversion comes from Michael Webb of Blue Sky Geoscience in Perth. Michael and Geosoft's Rob Ellis recently presented this example of a copper porphyry exploration in Chile, courtesy of Anglo-American. The copper porphyry project lies undercover along the Domiaco Fault uh, system in northern Chile, which is home to some of the world's largest copper porphyry deposits. Available data over the area included magnetic field observations from a Helimag survey and estimates of cover rock thickness. The TMI response from the Helimag survey is relatively flat, but is complicated, complicated by a uh, high frequency signal from a weakly magnetic cover rock, which was dissected by these topographic gullies. 
the inversion is therefore challenged to focus its efforts on resolving the copper porphyry targets. So Mike and Rob's task was to remove the signal of these um, uh, of the magnetic ignimbrite and invert only the residual signal. The the uh, topographic feature combined with the magnetic ignimbrite cover was modeled in two dimensions and in three dimensions. The 3D forward response was calculated using Voxy and leveraged Cartesian cut cell mesh geometry to better represent the terrain. The results of the forward model was a TMI response that closely matched the high frequency content of the observed magnetic field. And this modeled response was therefore removed from the observed data to create a residual data set. That residual data set was then submitted to Voxy to calculate the distribution of magnetization. <clears throat> Without this regional residual separation, the inversion result was muddled by high frequency noise that masked the putative shape of the magnetic porphyry copper and made interpretation difficult. Using the topography and a simple geological constraint to model and remove the unwanted signal enabled Voxy to recover a meaningful distribution of magnetization, which is shown here. The isosurfaces in this video are the recovered amplitudes of the MVI and iterative reweighting inversion to sharpen the geophysical contacts. In the end, Michael was able to produce a 3D model that took into account the geology and, topo and uh, topographic effects um, that were observed in the magnetic field. They were then able to develop an interpretation that was truly integrated. Another example of integrated modeling using geophysical data and geological models comes from Campbell and Walker Geophysics. They used Voxy and Oasis Montage to solve the problem of creating a detailed 3D model of a complex kimberlite in Baffin Island, Canada. Uh, this work was uh, completed by Sean Walker and Kip Campbell and was commissioned uh, by Peregrine Diamonds. <clears throat> the Chidliak project is located approximately 120 kilometers northeast of Iqaluit on Baffin Island. The project covers approximately 800,000 hectares and includes till samples, airborne and ground geophysics, and over 20,000 meters of drilling. The kimberlite of interest for this particular presentation has a well-defined magnetic anomaly and was uh, discovered by prospecting. There is sparse drilling through the kimberlite, which has a potentially complex internal geology, and the challenge was to create a 3D model uh, that was consistent with all of the available data. So that's the airborne and ground magnetic field observations, as well as the lithology and borehole susceptibility measurements from drill holes, and an existing parametric model that was derived from forward modeling. Sean and Kit began with the conventional unconstrained susceptibility model for the magnetic field data. They were able to recover a high susceptibility body uh, with a reasonable surface definition. But the conventional susceptibility modeling um, assumed that magnetization was purely induced and it was unable to account for any remnant magnetization which was suspected for this kimberlite. Furthermore, the unconstrained uh, susceptibility model was, was unable to recover a pipe-like shape at depth, and it required the presence of unrealistic negative and very high positive uh, susceptibility values. Their next step was to use magnetization vector inversion to account for the remnant magnetization. The unconstrained MVI model was able to resolve a more complex surface geometry and resulted in magnetization amplitudes that were in agreement with the drill hole data. They then proceeded to constrain the spatial extent of the kimberlite using a forward model uh, and that resulted in a better defined model with a complex uh, surface geometry and a pipe-like shape at depth. This constraint is relatively simple and required only a general sense of the spatial extent of the kimberlite at the surface. The impact on the model, however, compared to the unconstrained result is significant. Sean and Kit went one step further and used all of the available data, including the borehole susceptibilities, uh, to create this parametrically constrained MVI. The result but much better surface definition and definition at depth. 
and they were able to glean additional geological and structural insight from the magnetic field data, and that was important to understanding and exploring this uh, kimberlite pipe. So this brief preview shows how the integration of many data sets creates a better 3D model. With the Oasis montage and the advanced speed uh, and capabilities of Voxy, it's now easier uh, to take an integrated approach to 3D modeling. And within this one platform, uh, you can gather all your data and ask important modeling questions. And then you can test and interpret these models quickly, making changes intelligently and with the input of the rest of your exploration team. The information that you add to your inversions doesn't have to be complex. It doesn't have to be from expensive drill hole data. Even simple ideas like sharp geological contacts or rough estimates of overburden thickness can drastically improve your model results. And by including this information, you've taken an important step towards making your geophysical inversions geologically relevant. All of the work presented uh, today was created using Oasis Montage and Voxy Earth Modeling. For more information on how to access Voxy, you can speak to any of our Geosoft team here at the booth, or you can visit the Geosoft website at geosoft.com. Thanks for your time, and uh, if you stick around at 2.30, I'll also be presenting um, an introduction to Voxy EM, which was recently released uh, in late 2014. Thank you.